Hey team, I'm Maddie. Welcome to Science Side Up. And today we are talking about backing and veering. Backing and veering refer to different patterns of how winds change direction with height. So we're gonna look at that, we're gonna draw some pictures, and then we're also gonna talk about what these patterns tell us about the weather at the location we are looking at. Let's start with some westerly winds aloft. We're gonna draw our backing pattern here on the left and our veering on the right. So I have both of those labeled, and then I have a couple cheats for myself. So, a backing pattern means that winds are moving counterclockwise with height, and a veering pattern means that they're rotating clockwise. So I drew these guys to help me out. I drew the winds the same aloft because when you're far away from the surface where there are things like mountains and trees and buildings to get in your way, winds tend to just follow general circulation patterns aloft. And if I were to go up above my head pretty far, I would expect winds to be generally traveling from west to east. So then one quick thing, why does this thing, this weird arrow with flags, mean from west to east, which by the way, in meteorology, we call westerly? Well, these are called wind barbs, and think of them like an arrow, where these little marks over here, I think that's like the fletching or the feathers on the arrow, and then this represents the pointy end of the arrow. So winds drawn like this are moving from west to east, and the number and size of these Barbie things tell us wind speed. We're going to get into that in the next video, but I have both of my winds at 20 knots, which is actually pretty slow for that high up. Anyway, my backing pattern means winds rotate counterclockwise with height, so that would look something like this. And for veering, it's going clockwise with height, so that looks something like this. Close to the surface, in my backing pattern, winds are coming from the northwest, definitely more north than west, and then we're becoming more westerly with height. For my veering pattern, winds are coming from the southwest and are becoming more westerly with height. Okay, great. Now we can identify backing and veering patterns if we're looking at a vertical profile. So this would be type of data that you can get out of a weather balloon launch. Weather balloons measure wind speed and direction as they rise. So this is information that's pretty darn easy to get your hands on. Weather balloons are one of the cheapest ways to get weather data. You, know, you don't have to launch a whole satellite, you just gotta fill a balloon up with some helium, right? So that's all well and good, but what does this tell us about the weather where we live and breathe? Well, I'm in Oklahoma, so that's in the Northern Hemisphere, solidly in the mid-latitudes, so let's think about what it would mean for the weather where I live if I saw this wind pattern. Well, I would see winds coming from the Northwest. Well, to my west is the Rocky Mountains and north of me is cold. I would expect a wind pattern that is showing me air is moving from the northwest and we're bringing that down to where I live. I'm gonna bet that's gonna be cold air. And because it's coming from over the Rocky Mountains, we're pretty far away from any large bodies of water like an ocean. I'm gonna guess that this is gonna be cold, dry air moving in. So if I see a backing pattern and I'm in the Northern Hemisphere, I expect cold air advection. Advection is just science for, we took something from over here and we moved it over here. Cold air advection, abbreviated CAA. So I bet, Two or three days ago, when we had a cold front moving in, this is what the winds would have looked like because the air that's over my house right now is nice and cold and dry, so I finally got to bust back out my hoodie. 
if we had the other pattern veering, well, now we're bringing more southerly winds. So winds coming from the south. Again, in the Northern Hemisphere, air south of me is generally warmer than the air where I am. So if I saw a veering pattern, I would expect warm air advection. So I hope there's not a veering pattern over central Oklahoma today because I am so enjoying this cooler weather and I don't want warm air advection to ruin that for me yet. In short, being able to identify backing and veering patterns from a vertical wind profile is a great way to do some quick and dirty forecasting, especially in regions when you don't have something like a radar network. Okay, team, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you liked this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye team.